When a horse jumps, it becomes a projectile the moment its hind feet leave the ground. The horse and rider follow a parabolic path. They maintain a constant horizontal velocity during the jump. When the horse reaches the ground on the opposite side of the jump, the horse and rider are no longer projectiles. For the problem, all measurements are assumed based off the video and are measured from the horse's shoulder. The initial velocity of the horse is 1.47 meters per second at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal. The vertical displacement is negative 0.33 meters. We will define the coordinate system as up and to the right as being positive. Let's find the final velocity of the horse and its angle above the horizontal. First, we need to find the horizontal and vertical velocities using trig. The initial velocity in the x direction is 1.38 meters per second, and the initial velocity in the y direction is 0.5 meters per second. Because the x velocity remains constant, we only need to find the velocity in the y direction. To begin, we will use the equation vs squared equals vi squared plus 2a delta y. We will manipulate the formula, then plug in the numbers and solve. The final y velocity is 2.59 meters per second. We will use tangent to find the final angle. And cosine to find the final velocity. Therefore, the final velocity is 2.94 meters per second at an angle of 61.94 degrees above the horizontal. A horse travels on a circular path. Therefore, the direction of the velocity vector changes constantly. Because of the changes in direction, the horse and rider experience acceleration. In this case, centripetal acceleration. Ideally, the magnitude of the velocity vector will not change. There are many forces acting on the horse and rider. First, there is the gravitational field force pointing down. Next. There is a normal force pointing up, and there is a centripetal force pointing toward the center of the circle. For the problem, we will ignore all other forces, including the forces pointing ahead and behind the horse. As you can see by the summations, the vertical forces are balanced. However, there is an imbalance in the horizontal forces, meaning that there is horizontal acceleration. Let's assume that the velocity of the horse is 6.1 meters per second. The diameter of the circle is 12.19 meters. And the mass of the horse and rider combined is 635.03 kilograms. Using these assumed calculations from the video, we can find the magnitude of centripetal force acting on the horse and rider. To do this, we will use the centripetal force and centripetal acceleration equations. Therefore, the net centripetal force acting on the horse and rider is 3,876.86 newtons.
Woo!